All right, well, I'm uh, in Pensacola Beach, Florida with my lovely wife. It's our anniversary and she's taking me down to Pensacola to do some metal detecting. So we're gonna cross right here and go over. We saw some sweet little, uh, uh, I don't know what you call it. A little bitty sandbar island type thing. So we're gonna go check that out. And then we got a couple other places we're gonna go to. We were going to a White House, but it was on the Navy base. We couldn't get on it. So we're just gonna make a day of it and we'll find something to hit you back. Well, shit, it's one roadblock after another. See those little sandbars right there? That's what we're trying to get to. <coughs> but it doesn't look like there's any way to get to it. Well, all right, we find something somewhere to dig. We'll hit you back. Well, we're still trying to find a way to get down here. You can see all the little hermit crabs down there crawling. Mm -hmm. That's prime location. Do some metal detecting out there. Saw sand. <laughs> but uh, let me show you all this statue here. It's pretty cool. You're missing children. memorial for missing children my wife's the brains of the operation she'll find a way to get down there if anybody can right mom all righty we'll see what's up in a little bit all right so we were walking back to the car and we saw this place that had a bunch of old bricks old glass got some milk glass in it and um my wife found a coin we think it's a coin right on top she's over there trying to clean it i just dug this old fork so there used to be there used to be an old homestead there what is it huh oh wow she thinks it's spanish we're going to try to clean it up and get a better look at it um i just found this yeah so here it is. She's See gonna, how it's like right there? I'm trying yeah. to scrape it. I'm gonna try to clean up. Scrape it easy though. Well then. Here, hold on. All right, so this is where we're at. We're gonna hit all of this because there used to be, be an old uh, house here or something. I'm gonna have to go back. So my wife cleaned it off. I can see 1936. 1936 right there. Um, I'm gonna try to clean it up better. See exactly what it is. I think it's. I don't know. I had to clean it up. It's hard to say, but I do see 1936 on there. All right. So I think I found some kind of old button, or it could be a coin. I said it's either an old button or an old coin. I have to clean it up later. Uh. Actually, I'm thinking it's a coin, the way it looks, but I'll have to clean it up uh, better uh, later. All right. Wow. So I just found my first one dime, silver dime. What? Right here. Look at that. Silver, it says one dime. Wow. It says, is that, I can't read it, about blind. And it was laying right on top, just like that other coin. Is that 1803? Look at that. One dime. It's my first one ever. Wow. Just right here in the middle of Pensacola. I'm gonna come over here and show it to my wife. Ain't nothing but ducks around. <laughs> Silver. Put your fork, man. Let me hold it all all day. Yeah, can you see the date on it? Uh, yeah. You want? It's... Is it 18 or... Hold on. I'm about blind, folks. 1908. 1908? Or 1905. Hold on. 1905. Wow. That's bad. One dime, first one I ever found. 
can get over this. Did you show them this? Yeah, show them that. So I'm gonna go back and hit it, hit it more. Look, we're finding silver, coins. Wow. And they're still all down here with the same kind of stuff. Wow. Alrighty. So I just want to show everybody what made me decide to come over here anyway is uh so you see we're surrounded by pond and everything and um so when we were walking by look at all this old pottery and milk glass and i mean it's this screams old house so you know that's what brought us over here and of course i found that silver coin one dime that i've never found before my wife found it 1936 not sure what it is yet laying on top i think i found a couple buttons not sure but look, it still it just keeps going. It just keeps going right here in the middle of Pensacola, Florida. Wow. Well, I'm going to check it a little bit more, and then we're going to go to a different location. And we'll hitch up when we get there. Wow, another silver. As soon as I cut the camera off, I went about 10 feet. Not even 10 feet, probably about 5 or 6. Come over here. Got a good signal, and I can see it's silver. Don't know what it is yet. Let's see. Oh, it's going to be a mercury. Nice. I can't see the date because I'm about blind. Wow. I was going to leave, but I'm not now. No sense in going somewhere else when you're finding silver here, right? Wow. I don't know what date that is. Hold on. Let me see if I can see it real fast. Hold on. 1942. 1942. Cool. All right, so we left the other place. So now we're on the beach. My beautiful wife. Pensacola gonna see what people dropped <laughs> let me tell you what I found so far the infamous Corona extra hmm. I was looking for Spanish stuff but not quite like this alrighty find something I'm gonna hit you back all right well I'll show you everything we found so that big coin that Robin found laying on top, when I got home, I had to clean it up real good and get the old spectacles out and the loop. And I was able to see R-E-X on there. So I Googled that and this ended up being a King George, 1936 King George half penny copper. So that is cool. That's my first uh, one of those too, Robin's too. So that was really cool. And then, of course, my first uh, one dime. Wish I can get it where y'all can see it better. Um, yeah, so that's the first for me. So that's really exciting. Of course, Mercury, 1955 Mercury. This right here, you know, we were we we're, we were in Pensacola. It was a na you know it's a naval base, so I found this old uh, top to something. It says U.S. on it. Not sure exactly what went in it, but you can tell it's it's kind of old. So I don't know. And then at the beach, you see not much of anything. And of course, everybody finds these all the time. I wish people would. Start throwing their trash away and try to keep a hold of stuff like this. And the same with these right here. You know, if you're out there metal detecting and you're on the beach and you see it's it's trash or rubbish or whatever you want to call it, pick it up anyway and put it in your pocket because, you know, you're just cleaning the beaches that way. So, do that. That's what we do. So, there were some buttons. Uh, not too old. Wasn't sure what this was. But overall, uh, it was an awesome day. Uh, we plan on going back there. Hopefully, we can get there before it's covered up or 
I, I don't know what they're doing. It was just kind of kind of weird right out there. Uh, I don't know, but we went over a lot of it. So I don't know. We'll go back just because you go over uh, something once. You should always go back twice as far as I'm concerned because you can't get everything. You can only get what your coil swings over to. So, alrighty. We'll put out another video soon.